Hey, it's six and welcome to Wednesday's lesson, Wednesday the 3rd of March. Tomorrow is none other than World Book Day. So what a fantastic time to, to make a book for a little child. It's almost as if we've planned it. Crazy. Uh, so today what we're going to be looking at is creating the, the clear structure for our stories, which is sort of the plan. Okay, so we're going to be using a graphic organiser for this. And if you've been in um, Implicate Your Daughters last week, it is inside your pack. Uh, it's also on today's timetable as well for you, uh, if you want to print one off as well. Uh, the reason why we do something like this is so it's easy for our audience uh, to follow the story uh, and also be entertained. So think back to, to those um, reasons. In fact, if I did this, uh, some of you might actually recognise this. If I was to say, what's the purpose of, um, uh, of, of the text, what's the purpose of the text? And if I did that, I bet then some of you might be going, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then if I did put that letter in there, and if I put that letter in there, and then finally, if I put that letter in there, pi, okay, hopefully some of you might be thinking, oh, yes, 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 what's the purpose of any text? It's either to persuade somebody, it's either to inform somebody, or it's either to entertain them, okay? So there's three reasons why um, a text has been written, and the reason why we're writing this text is to entertain somebody, okay? And there's my little character, little Kit. I say my character, it's definitely Sarah's. Um, for my story. Um, so before we get started, we're going to do a quick rewind uh, about what adjectives are. So circle the adjectives in the sentence below. There are two sentences there that I want to have a go at and just try and find the adjective in those sentences. Off you go. Okay, so um, going back to linking back to yesterday, then when does the adjective appear usually in a sentence? It's usually before a, a noun because we're describing that now. So for us to get the circle out, uh, Gareth waited nervously behind the curtains before he walked onto the empty stage. Uh, and the noun here that's being described is the stage is being described as empty. Okay, so empty is the adjective there. And then finally, this one here to make the sauce, chop the onions, and add the ground spice. It's a bit, bit uh, trickier, this one, if you don't know what ground spices are. But if something is ground, it's like almost uh, been made into a fine uh, powder. Okay, then so you add the spices then in, into the sauce. Ground there is the adjective in that sentence. And then finally, then here, um, put one letter in each box to show the word class. What type of word is each one of these um, words? There you go. Uh, and then put either A, B, or C, or D in your boxes. So have a quick pause, off you go. Okay, so let's have a quick look. Uh, the lazy lion snored noisily. First of all, what What's the noun in this sentence? Well, it's the lion, isn't it? So that one must be A. Um, what did the lion do? He snored. So that's the doing word. That's the verb then. So that one should be D. Um, and then we've then got noisily and lazy. We've got two sort of describing words, one describing a noun and one describing a verb. Um, so the one describing the noun then should be an adjective. So that should be C. And the one describing the verb, he snored noisily, so that one then should be B, an adverb, okay? So you should have cadver as your um, answers. So this is the graphic organiser that you should all have um, with you now. So get this in front of you. This is what we're going to be um, working with um, for the rest of today's lesson. Now, the way we're going to be doing this, you've got two of these inside your pack, that you got this pack last week. Um, and you'll, get, you'll have one of these then on the PDF tomorrow as well um, for a second one. This is a storyboard, okay? So you've got to think of it as each one of these has been a page in a child's storybook. All right, so page one and all the way to the end. Now, the way that I've done this, you've now got your character. So if I sort of bring uh, my character back, here he is. I just copy and paste him just to remind me. Here's my character, Kit. Um, and the story is about Kit. Now, remember, we're innovating that story too much stuff. So the whole idea, um, if we go back to that story, is that those two magpies, they were building a home, they went to go collect all the stuff, there was too much stuff, it broke the home, but they were okay in the end because they had each other. That was the sort of main thing of the story, was it the main message of the story? Um, so you're going to be doing something very similar. So I could do a story where I've got Kit here, um, he's building a home, he goes and gets too much stuff for it, the home breaks, and it's okay because he's got all his friends still with him, and they might help him rebuild his home. Okay, um, very, very simple story, and that's what I'm going to go for. I'm not going to go too crazy. I'm not going to go um, 
too too wild with this because then I sort of lose what the story is about. So the way that I use uh, this uh, graphic organizer then is I start with the end in mind. Now what I mean by that is it starts from the end. What happens at the end of my story? Now the thing is with beavers is they build their homes, but they also build the buildings they call dams. Now dams, like I said yesterday, are where they use lots of wood, lots of trees to almost block a river. Um, and then that then creates a flooded area and we call like a wetland and, and they really help the wildlife in those areas. So I'm instead of building a home, I'm going to make him build a dam. OK, so you might have a, an animal that you've chosen that you can get him to build a home, a nest, a burrow, something along those lines. Uh, that'd be a good one, actually, wouldn't it? You've got rabbits uh, building a burrow and then they're bringing too much stuff that they block the burrow and they have to dig themselves back out again. Um, another book, that's a seagull. That's Kit's seagull, that is. Um, so, I've started with this end here. So all the beavers help rebuild the dam. Okay, so I know then that my dam then must have to break. So because of that then, the one before that is the dam breaking, isn't it? Okay, so the dam breaks, ta-da, and there we go. Um, now I've started with the end in mind. So this one then would either be, you know, your, your nest breaking, your tree breaking, the burrow being blocked, the home breaking somehow, and then all the friends helping to rebuild it. Okay, um, we start then back at the front now, um, where I, this is how I personally do it. So then I've done, I'm introducing Kit and the setting, like you would do in any sort of story. We started the story yesterday, introducing the two magpies, Ash and Meg, and the setting was in a tree. Okay, so Kit is a beaver and the setting then would be near a river, because that's where they usually live. Um, so that's then my first box here. I've then got four things remember that he's then got to um, uh, find the stuff. Um, so four of these boxes are going to be him collecting that stuff. But if I go with what happened in too much stuff, um, the last thing would be here, wouldn't it then? The, the, and then the dam breaks here. So my last thing would go here, the broken chopping trolley. The one before that then would be then the rusty bike. The one before that then will be the dirty toilet. And the one before that then will be the torn trainers. So the thing that's happening in all these four ones. So what I'm going to do here to make it sort of really stand out in my head. Um, I'm going to create little boxes around these ones. Because these are the ones where um, it's just collecting things. So it's almost very repetitive in this story. That they're just collecting something. Okay. Um, so they're the four things that are already written for me really. Because I did it yesterday. Um, and then I just need something for this box. Well, what has he got to do? Before the dam breaks, what has he got to do here? Oh, he's got to build it. So he's got to show the dam, um, but he wants more stuff to show off. That's, uh, uh, that's, now, when I say show the dam, I don't mean show the dam, I mean build the dam, don't I? Uh, he wants to build the dam, not show the dam. So I'm going to cross that bit out, um, and then I'm going to put build. Um, did he, oh, okay, he's going to build the dam. Um, Ta-da. Uh, but he wants more stuff to show it off. And that's it. That's, that's sort of my story that I've got going there. So the way you're going to create your story then, start with the end in mind. Um, so what happens? All the friends help rebuild the whatever it is. The whatever it is breaks here. You've then got your four things in reverse order. So you want the biggest thing really that they uh, created uh, collected here. And then the next thing and then the next thing and the next thing. The smallest thing then will be here. Um, you then got to do your first page introducing your first character and the setting, and then they've got to do the building, uh, haven't they? And then that's it. That's your story then done. So you're going to write inside these boxes. Tomorrow, you're going to draw inside these boxes on your next one, okay, your, 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 um, your second page that you're going to be doing. But we've still got these lines here to fill in. So let me show you what I want you to do on these bits here. Here is then, um, in fact, I still want this dude with me because it, you know, so I'll still put him here. Um, this is just a blown up version of that first box there. So I'm going to introduce Kit and the setting. But to help me with this, um, uh, sorry, what are you going to do here then? I've not even described what you're going to do, have I? You're then going to write out a few sort of phrases or words that you want to include in this paragraph, in these few sentences on your first page. And to help you do that, um, I've then got this here. Now this, I know it says year two, um, but remember, we're trying to use language suitable for younger children, okay? Um, so these then are uh, 
uh, time connectives that we've got there, you know, the adverbs that we've got here as well, and subordinating clauses and stuff. So there's good words here that we could finally use. And then we've got little phrases in these boxes that we've got here as well. So I'm looking at, at these here, and then I'm flicking back, I keep flicking back to this, to what the box is. So this one is the introduction of it and the setting. So I'm introducing the story. So if I go back to here again, um, I could start with once upon a time. Personally, I hate that. Um, once upon a time, I don't like using it. If it's used in different stories, that's fine. I don't like using it in my stories. So if you want to use it in your story, by all means, go for it. Um, then we've got like one day, uh, there once was, there lived day, uh, one fine day, we've got sort of stuff here. And they all lived happily ever after. Would that go in this box that I'm trying to do? No, because I'm doing the first box, aren't I? Okay. Um, we've also then got settings down here, castle, cave, forest, um, you can obviously, you've got your set, it might be a park, um, you know, I might go with forest actually, because that's, uh, I could have a river near a forest then actually. So if I go back to here, um, to the, so I'm going to start off with one fine day, um, and then where is it, where is it, it's going to be uh, near a river, isn't it, it's going to be on a river, um, so near a river in a forest, near, near a river, in a forest, yep. Uh, there once was a dot, dot, dot. Okay, and that's the sort of phrases that I want to use then in my introduction and the setting. I've got the setting, uh, and I've, I've introduced. Uh, well, I'm going to introduce Kit then, haven't I? I might then also use what I did in yesterday's uh, word. I skip back to uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Did 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 back to yesterday's there. Uh, I called him a cheeky young soul, didn't I? Um, who loves to collect anything. So I'm going to put that in today as well. There once was a, and I'm going to put cheeky young soul there because I want to make sure I get those um, words in there. Um, I actually then might also put, um, is it adorable? Adorable tuft of hair. Because I want to include that in the start as well. Because I did all that work yesterday, so I want to make sure that I've got them in there as well. Okay. So what you're then going to do for each one of these boxes then is just flick back to um, this word map. See if there's anything on here that you could use in your in your page as such. You know that page, that box of your story, um, and then. Um, add it to this bit here and then flick back to yesterday's work uh, where you use those adjectives and see whether or not you could use those adjectives. So he's building a dam. Well, what does he need to build his dam? Well, he needs his teeth because he chews his wood. So that's where I'd then put distinct teeth because remember that's what I said yesterday, wasn't it? And they would then go into this box here, okay? Um, uh, and then he might be swimming up the river um with his magnificent broad tail or whatever i said he had uh, yesterday as well all right so by the end of the lesson then you should have a very similar looking um sort of um uh storyboard uh with the writing in here with then your sentence uh, also your phrases and words that you want to include in your sentences underneath as well then you can stick that inside your book next to yesterday's work um, and send me a picture of this as well. Tomorrow, what we're then going to be doing is looking at then drawing the pictures for each one of these um, uh, boxes and then writing out the sentences or phrases that we want to use, uh, not just um, the words, but the whole sentences that then what we want to then use, ready then to build our book on the Friday. So good luck with that year six, and I shall see you tomorrow uh, to then look at some pictures and look at those sentences. Bye.